The Liberal Democrat peer at the centre of complaints that he was guilty of inappropriate behaviour towards female activists has said he did consider an apology years ago but had been rebuffed by the women involved. He says he cannot apologise now because of the possibility of further legal action. Lord Renard, who denies the allegations, made his first comment on the row in a social media message passed to this programme. Harry Smith reports. The battle over Lord Renard, the accusations against him and how the party dealt with them is becoming increasingly entrenched and there are no signs this weekend that either side is backing down. It was hoped that the official inquiry by a leading barrister would put matters to rest. Far from it. Lord Renard, who denies the allegations and refuses to apologise, has said nothing in public. But Channel 4 News has learned that last night he did reply to a Facebook posting from this woman, Alison Wheeler, a former worker at Liberal Democrat headquarters and former member of the party. He told her, I tried to make, consider any apology years ago, but was totally rebuffed by the complainants. One accepted, then reneged. An appeal and further legal actions are threatened, so I could not apologise in any event, even if justified which it is not. It would damage the women and the party much more if I said any more. It's gone beyond whether or not he is guilty of something. It's become a matter for the party now to say, this needs to be done because we need to move on. And until it can move on, it's going to keep being in the public eye. A source close to Lord Renard has confirmed that the posting is genuine. He said the offer was made on the basis that he would apologise if he had caused any upset or embarrassment, but at a time when he did not know what the accusations were. The scale of the problem the party now faces is underlined by a letter which appears in today's Telegraph. Signed by 120 party members from all over the country, it demands that until Lord Renard apologises, he should not be allowed to retake his seat in the Lords. It goes on... We believe that until he apologises and acknowledges the distress that his actions have caused, regardless of intent, he should never have had the Liberal Democrat whip restored and should be barred from any party body or involvement in any party activity. Supporters, however, say Lord Renard still enjoys the backing of many leading party members, especially in the House of Lords. His own brother Edward took to social media to launch this attack on Lord Renard's critics. This was always a witch hunt. Now they can't get him by dubiously legitimate means. They're trying illiberal tactics that would be worthy of the Ku Klux Klan. A short time ago, Lord Renard's remarks were taken down from the Facebook page where they'd been posted. A decision on Lord Renard's future could come on Monday, that's the day when he was scheduled to return to the Lords.